Master the possessive determiners. My, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving into an important part of English grammar, possessive determiners. Specifically, we'll explore the usage of my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. By the end of this video, you should feel more confident in using these words to express possession in English. Let's get started. Possessive determiners are used to indicate possession or ownership. These words are always followed by a noun. They change according to the number, person and gender of the possessor. Here are some examples. My book. Your pen. His hat. Her dress. Its paw. Our house. Their car. Notice how each determiner refers to a different possessor. Remember, they always come before the noun that's being possessed. The best way to master these possessive determiners is through practice. We'll work through a few sentences together, filling in the blanks with the appropriate word. 1. Underscore underscore car is blue. I own the car. 2. Underscore underscore house is at the end of the street. We own the house. 3. Underscore underscore cat is very cute. He owns the cat. 4. Underscore underscore dress is beautiful. She owns the dress. Try filling these blanks. The answers will be 1. My car is blue. 2. Our house is at the end of the street. 3. His cat is very cute. 4. Her dress is beautiful. Remember, the key here is practice. Try creating your own sentences with different possessors and objects. Let's assess your understanding with a quick quiz. 1. Underscore underscore dog is barking. It's a dog from many dogs that belong to us. 2. Underscore underscore bike is broken. It's one of his many bikes. 3. Underscore underscore umbrella is red. It belongs to you. The correct answers are. 1. Our dog is barking. 2. His bike is broken. 3. Your umbrella is red. That brings us to the end of our lesson on possessive determiners. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering these words. Keep writing, keep practicing, and you'll see progress in no time. I hope you found this video helpful. Happy learning, and I'll see you in our next lesson.